the I said okay and we don't need other variables and I just uh, give I don't know minus one in here for example to indicate there is no uh, face number and then I just write the a b uh, c oh c and d here and the other just zeros so zero 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 and the current material is just stay there so this current material will always store the current material we start with zero and whenever we find a use material so use mtl then we set the current material obviously all right and that was about it for the quad so i just simple copy and paste it uh, for the triangle so in here in the else just put it here so this is the else of this count which is count the spaces uh, if the spaces are four then this is a quad as it is a triangle and this is uh, and there we are so oh sorry about that so we make the triangle okay actually we have to change just a few things like uh, delete uh, uh, one uh, from the end and uh, and just delete this EB from the end alright and then just change the constructor to don't give the E and that's about it all changed now we do the same thing in here so delete one uh, vertex okay and then I just uh, okay I just realized I screw it up in here so the, we have a four elements in here because we have four texture coordinates because this is a quad and we read the last one in here so the t3 okay and just give the t3 in here t3 that's all now in here we did t3 and uh, actually we have to delete this last uh, two thing and uh, don't give the E and we are finished so basically I just uh, set to call the correct constructor so I give first the number of the texture and then the coordinates which in this case just three and then the texture coordinate which has the same number as the vertex coordinate so three and then the current material okay and uh, the last one ch uh, the last change is delete the last coordinate so in here obviously because this is a triangle there is just three vertex and delete whatever we read the f uh, fourth okay and just don't give it so I think it is just pretty simple just uh, clicking and writing so I think we are ready it is uh, screw up but uh, I think it doesn't hard doesn't need to be extra uh, explaining although if uh, you don't understand what I did here just write in the comment section now the next thing is what happens when there is a use MTL so here I just open up this test9.object file and as you can see we have a use MTL in here so basically all we have to do is just set the current material and in here we just set the current material to 2 uh, uh, or 1 or 2 2 or 1 I think it is 1 and this is uh, 0 yeah okay and that's all so else if this else if is in here where we put the uh, other else if like faces vertex normal vertexes so this is just a continuation of that so I do the same thing as I did earlier so chord I and I get the first element for it and if it is U th so use and the next element is S, so the next element, and E like use, and this is the third element. So if it is starts with use, probably there is nothing other comment which start with use. So this will be enough for the first free letter. So if there is a use material, then we want to uh, get the current index. 
So all we have to do is just go through the material structure. We don't fill the material structure up, but uh, we will. And there is the name field, as you may remember, which will contain, uh, which will contain the name of the material. So material or material 001 in this case. And we only have to do is go through the array and search for uh, this material. So material or material 001. And if we find, we just set the curve material, which we always put back when we make a face, to the index of uh, which element is that. So I create a, a temporary uh, variable char with 200 elements, so that's, that is the maximum file name of a material. And then I simple scan the file name. So s scan f and uh, the string will be the string obviously so called i and c str and uh, the format so the pattern is use mtl like use material and percent sign s the percent sign s is stands for string string or character literal so yes and we read it to the TMP. Now we don't need to use the address of operator because if I don't use uh, the cur uh, so the index, so I don't use this the bracket thing as an array, then I give the first element and uh, we have to go through all of the material and search that is it the current material or not. So for int i equals zero, i less than materials dot size. I really hope that I make this uh, variable already. So materials. Okay, I didn't. Never too late. So I make a vector, and this will contain material uh, pointer because it will be dynamically allocated as well, and I call it materials. That's it. So material. Okay, I created that. So I go through the, all of the materials and use the str cmp, which is uh, compare a string, string compare, this is the name. And if it is uh, completely identical to string, then it will return a zero. So if str cmp, and then I give the first parameter the name of the material, so materials name and uh, actually I get the C style string from that oh not material, materials I obviously okay and uh, and the next is the TMP because I compare the TMP to the materials that name and if it is equal to zero that means the two is equal then I set the current material so current equal to I and I break so whenever we find a material call, so use material for example, then I go through all of the materials like that, and the first material is material zero zero uh, material which is not equal to material zero zero one. Then I go through the second, I find the material zero zero one, and I put the a and I set the curve mat. Uh, variable to the index of this. In this case it is 1 because uh, C++ indexing st start from 0, so 0, 1. Simple enough. And then when a, a new face is come, so I read uh, further. For example, I read this and I find the index 1. I read the face and then I put the face material, material to 1. That's about it. Nothing really too interesting <coughs> and I just break because I don't want to search anymore because I don't want to waste the CPU power <coughs> okay and then I make another else if in this case the MTL lib so here MTL lib this will be a little bit more compli uh, complicated <coughs> but basically we we'll do the same thing as we did earlier so read the line decide what kind of line it is and then <coughs> and then uh, do whatever we need to do uh, most likely we read okay so mtllib and then the file name 
then we try to open the file name, in this case it is test9.mtl, and then again go through each line, each line, and if it starts hash mark, we don't do anything, if it is new material, we read the name, and if we already have a material, then we push back. Okay, so as if uh, cohort i 0, so if we start with m, and then the next material is mt, so t, so t, this is the second, the third is l, so mtl, I put another one, so mtl lib, okay, uh, that should be enough, we don't want to read all of the letters, so if it is mtl lib, then, then we have to do a lot of thing, first of all, we read the file name, and for that I make a temporary variable again, so call it file name, like file n. And with 200 characters should be enough, nobody uses uh, as long file names as more than 200 characters. And then I use the scanf again, with chord i, and in here c, s, c, r. So the pattern is mtl lib, and then a percent sign s for string. So we read the file name basically to the file n variable. Simple enough. And we try to open it right now. So std if stream, like input file stream, and I just give this file n variable to it. Oh, call it mtl in. Okay, so the constructor will, I put the, it in the constructor, so it will try to open the file. I will put another scan in here that uh, if it can open the file or not. So if not mtl in dot is open. So if it is not open, then I write out something the user so the user will know what the heck is going on by that the program exited. So code cannot open the material file. Mm, by the way, maybe it would be a better solution to just simple not use materials if it is cannot be opened the material file. But anyway, it is good. So I use this solution. I call the clean function, which we haven't write yet. Uh, basically all it does is call this. So I will copy these delete things to the clean. Okay, and uh, I just return minus one, so uh, the user can examine the return value if and if it is minus one, then he, he knows there is an error. All right, and then so now it is open. So because we have a material file, I set the is material to true. So later we will know that there are materials, so we can use it. I use a uh, vector and uh, string. Oh, like that. Okay, and uh, this will be the same as the chord. So we will read all of the lines to this, and then we read each line and decide what kind of thing is it. So I call it just simple TMP, like temporarily variable. Okay, I make. Uh, temporarily storage for whatever we read in. So I make a char c and 200 uh, long and then I use the while loop while we are not at the end of the file so while not mtl in dot elf so end of file. So while we are not at the end of the file I just get a line so mtl in dot get line the get line first parameter is where do you want to get this file? I want it to the C, and the next parameter is how much, uh, how much character do you want to read at max? I want 200 characters at max, and then I just push back to the R vector. So TMP dot push back C. Simple enough. All right, and. Uh, now I will define all of the variables which is needed to read the file. So char name, this will be the file name, 
actually not, not the file name, the material 